What's up everyone? My name is Lucas, welcome to another car review of mine. Today I bring you a 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT. For today's video, I'm out here in Las Vegas, Nevada in the USA, and this is my family's rental car. As always, I will start it up, show you the engine, and around the interior and exterior. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Here's the key to the Grand Caravan. It's very similar to Mercedes-Benz. Lock, unlock, power rear doors, power trunk release, panic, and remote start. To remote start it, lock the vehicle and hit the start button twice. Has a belay clear coat exterior with a full black leather interior. 13,000 miles. Let's go ahead and start it up. Just insert the key into the ignition. Just flick it to start. Hear that 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 roar to life. Alright, let's go and turn on the headlights, fog lights, and hazards. Front two windows are fully automatic. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the Grand Caravan. In your exterior, got tinted rear windows, chrome trim around the windows, body colored door handles and side mirrors, body side moldings down below, your fuel caps on the driver's side, you've got your roof rails up top. Around back, LED tail lights, third brake light, rear wiper. You got your entry guards for the trunk and your single exit exhaust. This Grand Caravan rides on Sumitomo Touring LSH tires. They're 225 65R17s. It's got 17 inch alloy wheels. Front, you have your radio antenna, halogen headlights, your Dodge Crosshair grille, your fog lights down below. Alright, let's go ahead and pop the hood. Since 2011, Grand Caravan's one and only engine option has been Chrysler's 3.6 liter, dual overhead cams, 24 valves, naturally aspirated V6, which produces 283 horsepower at 6400 RPM and 260 pound-feet of torque at 4400 RPM. It does 0 to 60 in 7.2 seconds and has a top speed of 140 miles an hour. Has a 20 gallon fuel tank and is estimated to get 17 miles per gallon city, 25 highway and 20 combined. The Grand Caravan is front wheel drive. As far as transmission options, the Grand Caravan is only available with a 6 speed automatic, which features manual shiftability. Alright, now let's close the hood and check out the interior. Inside, you've got a six-way power driver's seat with two-way lumbar adjustment, and over on the other side, a four-way manual passenger seat, which misses out on lumbar adjustment. On the door panels, you have soft-touch materials, wood grain accenting, a leather armrest with your child locks, power windows, locks, mirrors, and storage down below with a bottle holder. All right, now let's do a few revs and see how it sounds. Here's your infotainment screen, which just shows the clock when it's off. The screen has various functions, but it doesn't have everything because this vehicle is just a base model. 
You have your voice command and Bluetooth phone settings. You can view your radio and media data. And down below that, you have your volume and power knob. On the other side, you've got your load button. Once you press it, the screen actually tilts back, so you can insert a CD or anything like that. You can view your menu, go to your audio controls, and view your audio files. You've also got a USB and auxiliary input. You've got Tri-Zone Manual Climate Control, which contains your fan speed, temperature settings for the driver and passenger, different zones, front and rear defrost, and rear controls down below. You can also control them from the back seat. You got your econ mode, hazard switch, traction control, a little more storage down below right here. Right here even a little more storage with two 12 volt power outlets, got some cup holders, a little more storage and coin storage. You got dual glove boxes, Top one contains a USB input. A three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel, smooth power steering, voice recognition and Bluetooth phone controls on the left, cruise control settings on the right. Gauge cluster holds your tachometer, engine temperature, shift indicator, little display with your odometer, you have your speedo and fuel gauge on the right. Got side curtain airbags, sun visor with vanity mirror, auto dimming review mirror, interior lights, sunglass container which doubles as a mirror to keep track of the rear passengers, controls for power rear doors and power trunk which you can also turn off. Alright, now let's go ahead and check out the back seat. Coming to the back seat, we have power sliding rear doors which you can open from inside the car from the key fob or from the outside door handle. Inside, you can close it from either the handle on the door or that little button. Plenty of room in the back seat. The second row of seats does also slide, it just wasn't in its furthest back position. Got your power window controls for the back seat, your bottle holder down below. You have dual seat mat pockets and coat hooks, cup holders in the console below. Right above are your rear climate controls, which contain fan speed, temperature, and different zones. We've also got ceiling mounted air vents, and grip handles for the back. Alright, now let's go and check out the third row of seats. Access the third row, just pull on this handle, seat flips right forward, giving you access to the third row. There is less room back there, but as I said, the seat that I was sitting in wasn't in its furthest back position. You got cup holders, various storage compartments, and that's pretty much it. So now let's go ahead and check out trunk space. Coming around back, you do have a power trunk. However, by opening it from the outside, you just open it manually. You can also open it from inside the car and from the key fob. You have various storage compartments down below, as well as tie down hooks. Now the trunk is actually very spacious, and behind the third row of seats, you have 31.1 cubic feet. However, of course, you can fold these, and the way you fold these is the order of the straps. There is number 1, number 2, number 3, and number 4. Number 1 folds down the headrest, then you pull number 2, which folds the seat back down, and you have to pull number 3 and 4 at the same time to pull the seat into the storage compartment. The other side will do exactly the same. And then with the third row of seats folded down, that expands the cargo space to 78.9 cubic feet. You can also store the second row of seats down away, or completely remove them. And once you do that, that expands the cargo space to a whopping 140.3 cubic feet of cargo space. That makes it one of the most practical minivans currently on the market. Alright, that's basically it for the car, let's go ahead and shut it down. Alright, so all of that concludes the review on the 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like or a comment, subscribe today if you haven't, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!